All right, we got ultimate birthday icon, Rude Van Nistelrooy. Let's take a look at him and let's try him out. We're looking at a card that has four star skill moves with a five star weak foot, high low work rates, and he is 6'2. His current acceleration type is controlled 94 pace, 92 shooting, 85 passing, 87 dribbling, 84 physical. When we do dive into his in game stats, it's pretty clear that we finally have a usable Rude Van Nistelrooy card in this game. And that right there alone makes me super excited to try this card out. But when we do take a look at his stats, you are immediately drawn to his shooting because those shooting stats look absolutely phenomenal. 92 attack positioning, 97 finishing, 93 shot power, 82 long shots, 94 volleys, 88 penalties. This category alone tells you so many things about this card. The first thing is that I expect this card's AI to feel very smart in this game, mainly because of his attacking positioning. With the base stat being at 92, that stat alone usually tells you if it's that high that the player's AI is going to be smart in this game. So combine that with his high low work rates, I don't expect this guy to drop in deep for the ball. I expect him to make the right runs in behind the back line at the right times. I expect him to put himself in the right spaces inside and on top of the box. With this finishing at 97 and his shot power at 93, I expect this guy's finishing to be lights out. Combine that with his 5 star weak foot, right foot, left foot, it does not matter. I expect this guy's finishing inside the box to be absolutely lights out and his shot to be absolutely booming with that 93 shot power. Performing volleys with this card should be extremely fun with that 94 volleys. A little over the top through ball to him inside the box, off the half volley, back post. Those could be really fun for you. The only thing that's a little bit iffy are those long shots. But honestly, with the way I expect this card to play out in game, I honestly don't even think you will be taking a lot of long shots with this card. So that stat alone is something you should not worry about. And with the shooting stats being so good, the recommended country style for this card 100% has to be that engine. But with this card, you definitely 100% need to upgrade his dribbling. And with the engine, you get a plus four to his agility, a plus eight to his balance, and a plus eight to his dribbling. This is just so when Venice Roy is on the ball, he feels the best he possibly could be. So his agility bumps up from 85 to 89. His balance bumps up from 82 all the way up to 90. And his dribbling goes from 85 all the way up to 93. Those stats alone should allow Van Nistelrooy to feel pretty good on the ball. Now, I had high expectations for Burkamp in the previous video. I'm not going to have those same expectations today. I'm not expecting Rude Van Nistelrooy to be extremely shifty on the ball. I'm just going to try it out with low expectations. If he surprises me, he surprises me. But if he just feels decent, I won't be mad about it. But it's definitely something that I would expect. But I still do think that with the engine, it's still going to make this guy feel pretty good on the ball. His physical stats are also fantastic as well. And I also did feel like that isn't an area in need of an upgrade. 86 strength, 80 aggression. That alone for a 6'2 player is honestly good enough, guys. You also don't want to make him lengthy as well. You want to make sure that this card stays as controlled for his acceleration type. His stamina is at 85. It is pretty good. He is going to last for the whole 90 minutes. And his heading accuracy is at 95. So if you see this guy in a very good position inside the box, if you're very good at utilizing those crosses, get the ball out wide to your wingers. Cross the ball in and it has a good chance of going in. When we do take a look at his play styles, he has nine of them and two play style pluses in the power shot plus and the first touch plus. Power shot plus, pretty self explanatory. Get him in good positions to perform a power shot, it has a good chance of going in. First touch plus, pretty self explanatory as well. If you ping it into him, he's going to have a very good, consistent first touch. Definitely going to come in handy for a card like this, too. He's got the finesse shot, which is something I'm very happy about. Adds to the versatility in his finishing. Right foot finesse shot, left foot finesse shot with the five star weak foot. Does not matter. Has a good chance of going in. Chip shot when this guy's on a breakaway. Could be really effective. Power header inside the box. Combine that with his 95 heading accuracy. Could be very lethal. Bruiser chemistry style. Just going to make this guy stronger. Flare trade. So if you are good at performing those slick passes in your buildup, that's definitely going to help you and also performs flare animations when contextually appropriate. That alone could help this card's dribbling a lot. Rapid, just gonna allow this guy to feel a little bit more explosive. And lastly, the acrobatic. If you wanna have some fun with some bicycle kicks, you can, but mainly it performs volleys with improved accuracy and has access to acrobatic volley animations. Like how I mentioned before, when I was talking about his volleying stat, super excited to try it out, guys. Obviously, for this review, we will be trying out Vanessa Roy as our main striker in a 4-3-2-1. This is just so he is our main man in attack and also just so I can test out his whole attack AI as our main striker. So with that being said, though, guys, let's hop into the gameplay with this card and let's have an absolute blast. Vanessa Roy. And Roy, love that. Let's go. Two ball rolls, so clean. Put it into the box. Oh my god, I thought that was gonna go in. That header was a little bit tough, but it's impressive how he actually got to it still. Love that, Van Roy. Didn't feel too bad there, if I'm honest. Just gonna do more of it and see if I like it or not. Ooh. 
Yes, Ren Nistoroi. Let's go. Go, Rude. Go, Rude. Yes, Rude. Oh, my God. The fact that he was able to get by all those guys, though. Happy about that. Great run. Rounds keeper. Love that. Let's go. That little run there makes a difference. Not a lot of strikers in this game do it. Like, it may seem so simple to you guys, but I'm telling you guys right now, not a lot of strikers in this game recognize that space and make that run. Beautiful. Let's go. That's lovely. Venice the Roy brings it down. Turns Yashin. Love that. Oh my god, dude. The dribbling in that close quarters there. Impressive. They can't get the ball off of him. They can't get the ball off of him, rude. Wow, 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 wow. Use that pace. Bronze Keeper. Love that. I find that this card is also really good in space. Like when you really get by defenders and they're trailing you, they're not really going to catch up to them. All right, let's see what my guy does here. Staying centrally, sticking to that central position, which is still good. Fix it up. Bounce it back. Where does he go now? There's a little bit out wide because Hempton is central position. Still staying there. Now they interchange. Perfect. So roaming on top of the box. Exactly what I want to see from him, guys. Exactly what I want to see from him. All right, right now he's a little bit out wide because that ball is in his position. Now he's creeping more central. I love that. Let's go, Rude. Let's get into him. There we go. That one's going to go in. What a finish. Nice. Rude. Love that little shift. What a finish. Rude. Fantastic. Hmm. What a ball. Power shot. Oh my god. What a freaking finish mm, what a finish with the power shot again that is unbelievable man rude. yes rude love that twist van dyke inside out oh, rude. dude van dyke still can't do anything to stop him all right so after using this van nistelrooy card i can definitely say that he is very good a lot of fun to play with and there's a lot of things to like about this card. So let's get into it. Best thing about this card, 100% has to be a shooting. My assumption at the start of the video was absolutely correct. This card's finishing is absolutely clinical in this game. Inside the box, left foot, right foot with the five star weak foot, it does not matter. It's gonna go in. When you add the finesse shot play style, it makes this card even more clinical inside the box. Left foot finesse shot, right foot finesse shot, it does not matter. It will go in for you and it just allows this card to be an absolute monster inside the box. His shot power has like that little zip to it. Combine that with his power shot plus guys. Outside the box, you guys will be banging them in the back of the net. And when you can really get good at using this card's power shot, you will see how much fun this card actually is to use. Didn't really get a chance to utilize his volleys, but I'm pretty sure if you do get him in a good position to perform a half volley or even a full volley, he will execute them at a very high level and they can be very, very effective for you. 100%. Lastly, I thought his attack AI contributed to his attack positioning was also very good. He made the right runs in behind the back line. He did not drop deep whatsoever. He put himself in the right spaces on top of the box and also inside the box. He's going to be sticky up top for you. He's going to stay central. And that's a very good thing about this card as well. I thought this card's pace was pretty impressive. I thought with the engine boost to his pace actually helped this card a whole lot. I found that when you do play this card in space, and when defenders are trailing him and trying to catch up to him, they don't really catch up to him. But that right there is another reason why this card is very good. Surprisingly, his dribbling is actually pretty good. It's nothing special, that's for sure. But it definitely is a reason why this Van Nistelrooy card is usable. You can utilize his elastic dribbling in some areas. It's nothing crazy like Messi or the Socrates I reviewed earlier this week. But it's definitely usable. And it can definitely be effective if it is used correctly. Lastly, I thought his physical stats were very good. His 86 strength and 80 aggression, in my opinion, 
does not actually reflect how strong this card actually feels on the ball i think the bruiser chemistry style actually helps out this card a whole bunch not a lot of players were knocking this guy off the ball and now right there is another reason why this card is very good in this game so in general guys you are getting a very good striker in this game for a very good price i think as of right now he is around 190 to 200 thousand coins i honestly think that's pretty cheap for a card like this i think this card should be going for 300 to 400k in my opinion mainly because he is 92 rated with 94 pace and 92 shot and it definitely shows in the gameplay and it definitely shows when you are using this card so for the price tag he is at right now i do think it is a bargain so with that being said i highly suggest you guys go out and pick up this card you'll have a whole lot of fun using them and he will actually score a lot of goals for you guys as well is he the most meta player in this game no but i'm telling you guys right now he makes this game a lot more enjoyable for you but with that being said if you guys did enjoy the video leave a like that would be much appreciated subscribe for more eafc content make sure to follow all the socials in the description and as always i'll see you guys in the next one